Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. As you can tell by the title, this video is about something quite alarming, but I believe that I might get away with it with a relatively easy fix, hopefully. Well, before we take a look at it, I'd like to say that I'm not a pro or expert, but I just want to share my experience and all the information I gathered so far. So feel free to comment, add something or correct me if I'm wrong. If you're following my channel, you probably already know that I've done the SNS uh, Big Bore 865 conversion. Uh, and I've made a series of videos about it, uh, you can check it out here. I've done almost 9000 kilometers with it and it still runs great, I'm really happy and I enjoy every single ride. But very recently, after a 300 km ride, I spotted this oil stain between the fins of the cylinder barrels. Of course I freaked out and my first thought was uh, that it has something to do with the 865 mod. A failure because of the thinner walls uh, of the casing due to the machining, uh, you know, to accommodate the bigger liners. Uh, I'm lucky enough though that it happened at this particular spot because it's away from any gaskets or joining parts, so it was easy to rule out these kinds of leaks. Uh, here you see what it looked like uh, when I first spotted it. Uh, of course, I immediately inspected thoroughly every surface of the engine with no other findings at all. I cleaned it up and I continued to ride normally, uh, and I checked for leaks after every ride. I noticed that it takes around 100 km to start to show, and around uh, 300 km to be like this, as you see it now. So I started my research on the internet and eventually I found out that it's not that uncommon to have oil sipping out because of porosity in metal castings. Which means there are tiny holes or imperfections caused by trapped air uh, or other faults during uh, the casting process. There's loads of info on the subject online and I urge you to look it up, very interesting stuff. Also, I found reports on forums from other interceptor owners who experienced the same problem, and in one case they, s they said that uh, the cylinder block was replaced under warranty. I read somewhere that a way to deal with this issue is to immerse the whole thing into warm Loctite. Also, there are impregnation methods that manufacturers uh, use to seal the castings, and I read that Ducati used to fix porous engine cases with some kind of epoxy resins like Araldite before they leave the factory. Interesting. So it seems that I have my explanation, uh, if it's a case of porosity, uh, and uh, I really hope that it's not a crack. Uh, but there is something that I find strange though as I'm trying to get my head around it. Uh, you see, oil is pumped through this channel to circulate through the engine. Uh, and if you look closer, you will see that the oil spot appeared just next of where the head bolt goes through, uh, and not on the outside wall of the oil gallery, as I, I would expect normally. I suppose that there must be a small hole running through from the oil gallery behind the bolt's channel. So I really hope that it's not a crack uh, that is going to become worse with time and uh, the heat cycles of the engine. In my case, obviously, there's no warranty and I don't want to take the engine apart for Loctite baths. Since it's not leaking like crazy, I think I could use something like uh, JB Weld or similar, as there are many reports by people who had success with a fix like this. Well, we'll see. As I'm uploading this video, I haven't tried uh, yet to fix it. I have a JB weld on order and I'm planning to try a fix as soon as possible. Of course, I'll take some time riding to see how it's holding up in order to have some valuable information for the next video. Stay tuned and once again, thank you very much for watching. Ride safe and I'll see you next time.